Hey everyone, welcome to our journey renovating our old stone cottage. This week we've begun to get some painting done. Albie had to fix an accident he caused one of the cracks in the wall and the doorways in the house. We also decided to get our greenhouse built in preparation for seeding so that we can start our garden in springtime as it's fast approaching. Before we start, please give us a like, comment and subscribe. It'll really help our channel out. Thanks and enjoy the video. Alright peoples, my other job for today is to put a piece of timber up here and then fill all this big hole in here with mortar and rocks. Okay, stay tuned. walked past here and I accidentally bumped the wall here because Alison said the other day that Albie's put a hole in this wall. Check the hole out now Alison. Knocked all that concrete out. I accidentally hit the wooden step here of the crowbar and that just disintegrated so that come out as well. So my job for the rest of today and tomorrow is to fill all this back in, get some timber, make a step to go back in there. First of all, I think I might have to put a bit of a concrete base in it because that's pretty well just the earth underneath there. It just disintegrated. The white ants got stuck into it a few years ago. Here we are at Bunnings, it's Friday night and we need paint and we need other stuff and it's always my favourite place to go on a Friday night so me and the dogs taking a trip to Bunnings to get some swatches and get some paint and get ready for another weekend. green frost or green frost half but I do like this flooring so you think go the darker green yep won't it be too bright in the wall no it won't be it's just real right, right, camera go. this one's a darker green I might do one of each I've got a test colour of the green frost and the celery satin and I really like this this pretty flash I'm at Bunnings I've lost Albie and while he doesn't know where I am, I'm just going to do a little jaunt around the plant section. Quiet, no one else is here. See what I can find because you know, you never have too many plants. So, because I'll be right the house yesterday. I ducked out this morning to get some wood. I jumped on Facebook Marketplace this morning and the Facebook gods have come through again because I picked up all these old treads out of an old cottage for $65. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And now we can get to work today and fix what he did yesterday. While I was there, I had a chat to the guy and managed to pick up some beams to go as headers in the doorways in the bedroom and also this bit for above the window I hope so a bit of work from Albie to denail it and cut it down to size and I think we're good to go so hopefully I've got all the old hardwood that I need to do the repairs in the cottage now so Albie off to where you go good job thanks baby it's a bit of a dreary Saturday morning up here so 
Halby's getting stuck into fixing the disaster he made yesterday. He's basically rebuilding this wall at the moment and he's got some field stones there which we're going to pack in there to help build this back up and get that so it's level because it's sloping away and as you can see half of it's missing and then he's just mixed up some cement here to try and level this out now once he's leveled that out uh, he can then put one of those nice timber treats that I went and got this morning in and these bricks here are just temporary just to create a space for the timber to go in so once this sets he's going to pull these bricks back out and the new timber tree will go across here and hopefully it'll look like he never made this disaster to start with. I'm really hoping that the old timbers that came out of the other old cottage will blend in nicely here and you'll never know that we actually changed the tread over. It's important, I think, to make sure that we use old stuff where we can so that we don't lose the character of the cottage. So finding those timbers this morning, I think was a real bonus because it's allowed us to actually keep it to look like it was to start with. get the ceilings done and then I got some paint pots yesterday from Bunnings so I'm happy to get some swatches on the wall so we can get an idea whether we like the colours that I've chosen, pick what we like um, and then so we can go get some paint to get some paint on the walls. Otherwise it'll be back to Bunnings, more swatches, more sample pots until I find something that I like. But I'm really hoping that the colours that we picked are going to look really good in here and um, we can get cracking on actually putting some colour in the place. So the first colour we're going to trial is, it's called Celery Satin. It's a Dulux paint. It's like a really light sage. So we're going to paint a test swatch of that. I'll give that to Chloe to paint. pot that we're going to trial because we're tossing up between these colors is green frost it's also a dulux color so we're going to stick that on the wall let them dry and then we'll make a decision which one we like or if we like any at all so we're waiting for the paint to dry inside so while waiting for the paint to dry inside reese and i are gonna continue our job of pointing the wall this is last week's effort, it's looking pretty good. Uh, we're gonna move across and do this patch over the weekend. So, so if you wanna see how we do this, we did a um, rundown on it last week in our video. So I'll link our video here and you can go back and watch how we actually point and what you need to do that. We'll give you an update at the end of the weekend on how far we get with it. LJ's got a sister over today. So they've been playing like mad and they're both absolutely putrid. She's, um, been a complete brat, she's covered in mud, so she's gonna hang out outside for a while. A little update on paint swatches. They've been on the wall probably about an hour or two. They're drying, we'll have another look at them this afternoon before we leave. This is the color Albie chose. This is the color I chose, so We'll see how they dry. I'm still leaning towards this one. Albie's very much leaning towards this one. Just having a little look at what Albie's done here. He's got the concrete in, that setting. Just having a look at his pointing work between you and I. I can see who the master pointer is here. I've tried to give him a few tips. Doesn't seem to want to listen, so I'll leave him to it. And when he's not around, I'll come back and patch up his work here, I think. But. It's coming along nicely. I think those treads will look good in here now. 
We've done this, sealed it up because we don't want dirt under those treads because termites got in last time. We don't want that to happen again. And uh, yeah, I'll fix this up after he's had a play. So today we've decided while everyone's in bed, Sleeping in. we're gonna set up the greenhouse so we can start on our plants. Because up at Pinery in the second cottage, which will give you a quick walk around, um, there's a huge garden and we're gonna actually do a big flower garden, hopefully eventually, Turn it into a pick your own flowers cross micro wedding venue. So we're about to start thousands of flower seeds. So we're putting up a grow tunnel. So the first thing we're gonna do is use this paint to mark the corners because it's really, really windy here at times and we need to anchor the greenhouse down. So we're using star posts or T posts as they call them in America um, to anchor this into the ground so that when the wind picks up, we don't lose the whole greenhouse with all our seeds because I'd be very sad if that happened. We've got a few Jack Russells. They're not all ours. We're actually dog sitting for Albie's boss who's gone overseas and Ashley's dog's here as well. But considering the amount we've got, it's amazing how well everybody gets along. We can bring dogs in and out of our yard. We've also got LJ, the blue healer, and an old, a couple of old dogs. Everyone gets along. Um, they're really well socialized. And we can bring anybody in and out of the yard, which is great. greenhouse up it was cheap from before bought it off eBay um, I don't know how long it'll last the intention is to build a really nice window greenhouse up at the Codley uh, old post office at Pinery eventually so we can start all our seeds up there but for now because we're mostly at home and renovating up the there we're setting this up if it lasts us a couple of seasons that's great in the next couple of weeks there'll be thousands of seeds started in here so watch along for the progress because all these seeds will end up filling out the cottage up at Pinery. Seems I was at home feeling a little under the weather I thought I'd stop in at the local nursery and check out what they had and they have apple trees on sale for $19.95 couldn't pass that up so the possums are going to have their own apples up at Pinery eventually and while we bought some potted colour which upsets me a little because you know I have hundreds of seeds at home but she couldn't help herself and can't leave without getting a few packets of seeds gonna give the old asters a go we'll see what happens It comes with its own story, which I will put a um, video up on another day and give you a tour through because I've come all the way to Pinery to drop off the apple trees and sponge the wall around at the cottage and I haven't bought any keys with me. So we can't actually get inside. So we're gonna have to come back another day to go through this one, but I fell in love with this one. She's gonna be awesome when she's done. And eventually we'd like her to be an Airbnb slash micro wedding menu. We're setting up the gardens as a um, pick your own flower farm, hopefully. So gonna do a lot of work on the gardens this year to establish them, even though we probably won't start on this one for another couple of months because we wanna finish the other one first. But I'm trying to put all those establishing plants in the garden. I'll be bean. 
I can see Albie's been here. These branches did not blow off this tree, so we'll be having words about that because I told him not to cut the trees down at this place. This is the garden that we're going to actually plant out this year. Um, the big plan is to have a pick your own flowers along here and then the big garden around the back which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so all the flowers have got to be started, that's why we're starting the seeds. That's my job for the next two weeks, make sure that those seeds get started so we've got flowers here for spring and summer. So as you can see, it's a bit of a jungle, but over the next couple of weeks you'll really see it start to transform again. plans for this area of the garden. Um, I really want to just plant all this out, hence why I'm growing all the seeds at the moment. And we're going to have two nice gardens here with a walkway up the middle. And up the top here, we want to flatten out and create a, gar a wedding arbor up here, have seating. So that if people wanted to use this for a micro wedding, they Well, lucky I had the stuff I needed outside. So I've got here, gonna give this wall a sponge down because as you can see, it's actually cracked up pretty badly. Normally I'd be here and sponge it a lot earlier, but I didn't get here early this morning. I'll be able to fix this. You won't notice that it's cracked and um, she'll dry really well. So I'll show you what it looks like once I've finished and yeah, she should be fine. Well, that's it guys. The wall's been sponged down, that should dry up nicely this week. And as I said to you all in the last video, don't not wear gloves. And I can already feel the skin peeling off the tips of my fingers. So listen to me, take my tips. I didn't and I can feel it already. Big mistake. But check out this awesome view. I think this place has one of the best views, this little cottage, especially at this time of the afternoon. Just been sponging away here, checking out this view, thinking it's a pretty nice place to live, I think. Okay guys, the paint swatches are dry. Celery satin, green frost. I think we're all sort of leaning towards celery satin, but I'm thinking of go on a half strength. So let us know in the comments. Celery satin, green frost, half tint, or something completely different. Well, that's it for another weekend at the cottage. I'm off to work for another week now. Albie will be in to do a few things. Got a fair bit done, I think. The wall is almost done on that side. So hopefully next week you'll see one completed wall, which will be fantastic. Can't check Albie's wall to see how it's gone because I forgot the keys. So I'm sure he'll do an update when he gets up here. Checked on my little baby possums. Two of them are home and we'll all catch you on the next one. Thanks guys.